welcome back to my channel. Cat Wonders here. <laughs> I almost introduced my podcast. I'm back with another bikini haul and I have five very exciting swimsuits for you, all bikinis, from Shein. Now, this video I've been waiting to do for quite some time because the swimsuit often is not available in a variety of colors because they sell out. Now this bikini is not like others. It comes in neon colors and it also comes in a very flattering fit apparently because if you read the reviews in the swimsuit and you also just see the pictures and the review photos of people wearing it it looks good on everyone so i was like let me get this in the five colors that they have available because i think there was like nine of them that weren't available and try these on and i'm so stoked because there's only one color that doesn't work for me so these are all the same bikini extremely cheeky thongy bikini, which I like to be in really peak tan summer shape to wear a swimsuit like this, <laughs> which I'm not yet. I have fake tan on, but that's about as all, that's the best I can do right now. But before I get into the try on part, the part that you're all waiting for, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Dossier. So if you didn't know already, because Dossier is viral on TikTok and probably many other platforms, they are a perfume company and they are very unique in the sense that they make fragrances that are inspired by some of the world's most famous perfumes, but at a fraction of the price. So they actually sent me six of their fragrances and I've got two here to review for you today. I have smelled these already because I could not help myself. And um, I'm a big perfume person. I actually, before I go on vacation or before I go to some sort of event, like a, like a wedding, something you wanna really commemorate, you really want to remember, I will buy a very specific perfume before I go on that trip and wear it every day of the trip. So years down the road, I can smell the perfume that I chose and remember all the things about that vacation. It just brings all the memories back. So I'm famous for this. I've talked about this before. For my sister's wedding, I purchased a specific perfume that I wore for the bachelorette party, the bridal shower, the wedding. And every time I smell it, it just takes me right back to those like amazing, beautiful memories. So Dossier makes sense for men, women, and unisex, but of course you can just mix and match however you want. So the first one I have is called Gourmand White Flowers. Now this is supposed to smell similar to Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb, which I love. Now these perfumes are made in France premium ingredients. There's a percentage, this is an 18% concentration. Not exactly sure what that means, but whatever, whatever it is, it smells incredible. So every box comes with a little card to give you a bit more information on the notes. Uh, this one specifically is bergamot, green tea, freesia berry, or freesia and berries. I thought freesia berries were a thing. White flowers, orchid, rose, the base notes, musk, patchouli, caramel, vanilla. Now this is, I believe, 1.7 ounces. Yeah, 1.7 fluid ounces, which is a lot of perfume. You know, sometimes you buy perfume and they're this big, but you're paying a huge price. Uh, this, ah, so what I like to do, so before, when I received these perfumes, I was spraying it in the cap just to kind of smell, because you don't want to just spray it in the air on yourself, uh, which you can do, but for me, that was like, the initial reaction, but when I sprayed it on my skin, the scent just became like, just let it sit literally for like a minute and then smell it again. That's why it's good to put on a wrist actually. Cause then you can go. <laughs> oh, but this scent is so gorgeous. It's probably gonna be one of my favorites. I do have four more after these two to review. But this I love, and it's just, if I were to describe this scent, I imagine myself visiting a Victorian castle. And I've walked through the castle, but I walk out the back French doors into the courtyard where there is a beautiful flower garden. <laughs> and maybe a vanilla tree <laughs> on the side. And I just, 
it just takes me to the sunny, beautiful, romantic, florally, exotic location. To really know what I'm talking about, you have to order this specific perfume. Um, anyway, so I just think it's a great company. The bottles are very sleek and will look good pretty much on any countertop in your bathroom or your perfume stand. Love it, highly recommend. Next, I ordered floral lavender. Now, this is supposed to smell similar to YSL Libre. Libre, this. It's so good. And you know, it could definitely be unisex. I'm not gonna mix the two by spraying it on myself, but this just has this like, you know what? Honestly, God, floral lavender. This is such a gorgeous scent. Um, some of the notes are mandarin, neroli, and black currant. I'm not sure what neroli is, but whatever it is, I like it. <laughs> Middle notes are jasmine, lavender, orange blossom, and the base notes are vanilla, amber, musk. Oh, it definitely is sexy. Evening time, not really like a daytime, let's go for brunch perfume. This is like in the taxi ride home, you're gonna get a real good whiff of this before you get in because I'm gonna spritz myself with it and you're not gonna be able to resist me, is the smell. And honestly, like I said, it is kind of musky slightly, which I wouldn't say that I normally like, but in this, if a guy were to be wearing this, I would also be like, I'm not sure, just something about this perfume that really kind of gets to me. So anyway, these perfumes, <laughs> these perfumes are so delicious and I just can't recommend them enough. So thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. So the links will be down in the description box if you'd like to pick up some fragrances from Dossier. Like I said again, thank you for sponsoring. I've got a couple new perfumes for my collection and um, I'm excited. So these bikinis have lived up to their reputation. I ordered all of these in a size medium. Okay, so luckily the fabric for the sides of the bottoms are stretchy and you can also really kind of wrench on them a little bit to make them fit how you want. Because, so this is what I'm talking about. Now these type of bottoms do not always work on me, only because they tend to fit too high up on the hip, which makes the butt panel too long. It makes my butt look long and then that's not what I'm going for. <laughs> I don't want to make my butt look long and I make my I want to make my butt look nice. So the front panel is the same size as the back panel. But what I love the most is that you can make the front low rise and then pull up the strands on the side to make it kind of high on the hip. This look is what I love and I don't have hips. So I'm faking it with these bottoms. It does give my body more of like a curve to it, like a the illusion of a curvy figure. I mean, I'm curvy, but I don't have like the kind of like the hips that some other people do, whatever, it's fine. But um, this fits incredible. Uh, the top also fits incredible. Normally, so this is the, the final color, not to give it away, but I do make this try on fun by wearing a new pair of sunglasses that match each swimsuit. I did that just for you. The padding I normally take out of my triangle tops not this time, it just does something extra. And it makes sense because it just has a shape that really accentuates every positive part of your body. And if I were to create a swimsuit line, I would absolutely take notes from this bikini because like I said, the variety of people I've seen it on on Shein is really incredible. Like everybody that was wearing it, no matter what size, shape, it was flattering and I was like, how is this even possible? But I think the versatility of just being able to wear it exactly how you want to really makes it a fun swimsuit. And the colors, I want this. There was like this kind of like neon blue color that I really wanted that they didn't have. <laughs> like, damn it, when it's back in stock, I'm gonna order that too. Another thing is mix and match. So they're cheap enough to buy a few and then you could just like mix and match like these two colors, yeah. <laughs>
The next color is this lavender. So this is the color, actually these colors go well together too. It's a little bit too gray toned for my liking. I like a more pink lavender, if that makes sense. More of a pinky purple. Even though this isn't super gray purple, it just for me right now with my tone doesn't do anything for me. So fits perfectly like the pink one, but just not my favorite color. Classic white. Now, I don't know what it is, but I do not own many white bikinis. I, I, I shouldn't say I don't know what it is. I do know what it is. I wear fake tan. <laughs> and every white swimsuit will be ruined by your fake tan. Also, depending on where you're staying, if water is a bit too chlorinated, if you're in swimming pools, hot tubs, it will kind of color the swimsuit yellow. It's also very difficult to wash a white swimsuit without it picking up colors from the wash. My water in the summertime is very hard and it has kind of like either a green or yellow tone to it depending on the season. Um, but you, typically in the summertime, my water will still dye my swimsuit. So the pristine, crisp whiteness of this bikini will only be the first wear. And then after that, it's just slowly just will kind of go downhill from there. <laughs> Um, which is fine. I mean, I'm not gonna make this bikini go to waste. I will wear this probably for like a photo shoot where I'm not gonna be in the water. I'll be out of the water and then I'll wear it for the rest of the day. And then just whatever happens, happens. But that's kind of the downside with white swimsuits. But anyway, it looks beautiful on and I really like it. The next is this beautiful red color. So not all reds are made the same. This is more of a cherry apple red. I tend to lean more to like a fiery orange tone red, almost more neon, but this is beautiful. Um, this color, oh, I've said this before, red on really pale skin or really tan skin to me is equally as beautiful. I don't feel like I need to be super tan to wear this color. Fits like a dream, like the other ones. And um, I'm really happy I own this swimsuit. And red just has like a different feel, like a different vibe. I have to be in the right mood for red. Typically I'm going for colors like this or the pink where I'm like vibrant and whatever. But if I'm feeling like a little bit, if I'm like ovulating, <laughs> I'm reaching for this red bikini. <laughs> You can see for yourself. Last but not least is this green gem. And I love this so much. I'm really happy that it's as neon as it is in the photos. So sometimes I've ordered things, not specifically from Shein, from other websites that are, they're showing them as super neon and like on a super tanned girl, you get it. And it's like, like a lime green with like a really gray under it. Like it just doesn't work. This is neon. 
Um, you can see the full bikini in the coming up here shortly. Uh, but this I would love to pair, mix and match with the bright pink. Bright pink top, green bottoms, vice versa. It's very like watermelon on crack, <laughs> just neon, <laughs> neon watermelon. Um, I really, really love it. And I cannot wait to wear these swimsuits. It is going to be, it's a, not officially spring, but we're pretty much there. The snow is melting like crazy. And um, I've got so many things on order and so many things happening. It's gonna be so much fun. Uh, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss all of the fun, uh, especially leading into spring and summer. Very exciting times. It's been kind of a long, weird winter. Thanks again to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Again, links are down below in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having an amazing, amazing day, amazing week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.